Hello everybody, it's Whiskey11 and welcome back to the Gaming Lounge and it is time for yet another departure from the usual. And in this video, we're going to be playing probably one of the best submarine games you could possibly get. Going to be way better than anything that Wargaming ever puts into World of Warships. No, I'm not bitter. But this game is Silent Hunter 4. This is before Silent Hunter went completely off the deep end, completely ignored their roots, and went with that thing that we won't talk about that came after Silent Hunter 4. May or may not be the next number in that line. We're just not going to talk about it. Uh, so this is Silent Hunter 4. We are going to be playing it in uh, with the mod Real Fleet Boat. Engage, which is a realism mod that is designed to make the game, well, more realistic, but uh, ultimately it actually makes it harder. But, uh, you know, hey, what do I know? We're just going to go ahead and we're going to play the American campaign. We're going to start off in the hardest time frame that we can, which, of course, is 1941. And uh, where do we want to start do we want to start in the Philippines and start with an S-boat? I did say we were going to start off in the hardest class, didn't I? All right, we'll set it to normal and we'll keep the renown really low. So the whole premise of this game is you are a U.S. fleet boat captain. And we are going to be the commander of S-37, which is SS-142 of... <laughs> I don't even want to know. All right. Gentlemen. As you already know, we are at war. I quote the President of the United States. Yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy, the United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. Yeah, by the way, you can't hunt down the Kido Butai the in this game. We eliminated our entire battleship force for the time being. Like, if you start in Pearl Harbor and you try and rush to, to beat the Kido Butai, they're not there have escaped unharmed. During the past year, the Japanese military was engaged in a seemingly endless war against China, badly needing oil and other raw materials. Since we halted the trade with Japan, they schemed to seize the oil and mineral-rich East Indies and Southeast Asia. A Japanese attack into the Indies, Malaya, and the Philippines was expected, and plans prepared for it. But obviously, we have not prepared enough for an attack of this magnitude. <laughs> the attack against Malaya has materialized yesterday, and last night the Japanese forces also attacked Hong Kong, Guam, the Philippines, and Wake Island. I feel obligated to point out that we're in an S boat, which is the U.S.'s Japanese World War One. It's not even a World War One submarine. It's the not Japanese even a fleet boat. Is extending throughout the Pacific, with a submarine force left mostly to itself. Y yeah. We need to act accordingly. So there is one distinct advantage to being in an S-boat. We can't carry anything but Mark 10 torpedoes, which are significantly more reliable. And also reconnoiter the Marshall Islands, as it's presumed that Japanese forces are massing in that archipelago for a second attack on our bases. Manila-based boats will deploy to guard the vital island of Luzon against approach by enemy forces. Yeah, we all know how that works out. Sorry, Philippines. <laughs> Uh, I shouldn't laugh, but, uh, so it is December 9th, 1941. We have, <laughs> we have a four inch deck gun and our lovely load of Mark 10 torpedoes in our boat. Gotta love it. So one of the things that you really got to do in this game is you really got to, got to fill up crew slots as best you possibly can with people with specialties. Uh, especially when it comes to, to engine room personnel, anybody who has an affinity for the uh, machinery or electrical. So let's see. Yeah. And steps to getting hosed. All right. Well, we'll take him. We have torpedo men that are in, uh, or we have gunners that are in the torpedo room. We'll deal with filling up the boat, I think. We got good electrical on it. 34, that's pretty good. 33, 36, yeah. So we'll just go ahead and we'll fill up the boat with these guys. We, I don't think we can add any more officers. I don't think we can add any more of these guys. Yeah, and I don't know that we can add any more of these guys either. Which means this dude... Yep. Alright, so we are full up. 
and nothing to add there so let's uh here's our current ace no aces yet all right i guess it's the start of the war shouldn't expect anything right all right so let's get our first orders looks like uh we are going to be patrolling the luzon strait uh we'll start outside the harbor especially since it's been a while since i've actually uh played this game we're we're kind of going into this one cold i barely remember the uh all of the controls so it might take me a little bit so here we are we need to get up to the luzon strait to do some patrolling now there's a lot that goes into uh submarine warfare and since we're at the beginning part of this war and we are operating in a boat that uh oh so there we go we're operating in an old school s-class boat which means we have next to no depth capability i keep hitting that button because i keep wanting to go to the inside of the boat that's interesting radar display for a radar that we don't have but um there's a lot of tactics and stuff that we can't use because the fleet boats as we progress later and later into this game were designed to keep up with well as the name implies fleets and they were not really intended to operate solo but they absolutely did all the time and in doing so they actually were one of the large reasons for the success in in stripping the Japanese of the Imperial Japanese Navy and Army of critical war resources during World War II. Um, absolutely critical. But, uh, anywho, we're gonna... We, since we're so close to Manila, we know that most of the ships that are being spotted here are definitely not. Received an enemy task force update, so he's going to Formosa most likely. The other thing is, is we have to pay attention to our fuel reserves as well because we cannot stay out indefinitely. Um, we also have limited... Oop. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Yes, sir. Periscope set. Ahead one, sir. Dive, dive. Zero, two, eight. Ugh. Oh, wow. Really? Um, yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to catch up to these guys because, uh, we have very, yeah, <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and say no. We'll look at them though, because, uh, it looks like zero to eight. Hmm. There's a destroyer there. I don't know what the other one is. Let's see if we can't go find him this way. Anyway, the reason why I'm hiding is because we're not close enough to actually get into an attack position on them. And even if we were, I'm not sure it would be worth it. I don't know. We'll, we'll kind of float on over here and see what we run into. Might not even be Japanese. This, this by the way, is full on hacker mode. Four, zero. I just really don't want to deal with getting torpedo or uh, depth charge this early in the game. Those are definitely Japanese. And it looks like the most valuable ship in this group. There's a Mogami. Another Mogami. Uh, troop transports. Those would be kind of important to sink. We're just not in a very good place to begin that attack. Upside is, is that the Japanese, at the very beginning of this, do not have very good sonar. So you could probably torpedo one of these suckers fairly easily. And not really run into too many issues. Like I said, though, we're going to go ahead and we're going to let them pass. Um, we're just not set up in a position to effectively be able to to do anything with it. Also, I don't think... Uh... Yeah. Okay. So he's, he's there. Let's do this. We have this. Well... Yeah. Let me go ahead and send a contact report out. Ship spotted. <laughs> Intercept and engage them? Alright, well, let's plot their 
I doubt that. Watch, I'm gonna get myself sunk in the very first part of this game. It just there's just not an easy way to intercept these fleets like this. We need to go east. Yeah, we've definitely lost them already. And they're gone. All right, well, that was an exciting, um, totally did not expect that right away off the start. Generally speaking, you don't get thrown quite so deep into the wolf's nest there. Let's see if we can't make this a successful, blech. I can't even English right now. A successful patrol. Really? That's my fleet again. All right. Well, the fleet is uh, is here. Yes, sir. Go ahead and send that contact report. Yes. So we know that they are here. Our our lovely our lovely torpedoes here have such a short range that this is like almost suicide we have to be within we have to be in 3500 yards in order to act actually use these torpedoes to put that into scale that's where we need to be to intercept this this task force assuming that we can without dying first okay so we are roughly 3500 yards away from them let's go ahead and turn south and see what we can run into um they like parked or something they are barely moving three five one at long range that's definitely what are they I'm sorry I keep doing that and I don't intend to but something all right let's 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 dive because we really don't want to we really don't want to incur the wrath here All right, let's see if I can figure out the correct button to get into the correct periscope here. So we know they are straight ahead of us. That guy looks big and juicy. If I could get him, that would be great. So let's set up our torpedo attack solutions here. We know that's definitely not that. We know from our earlier scouting report that it's a Mogami class. We're going to preemptively set that guy as that. I'm going to go ahead and preemptively set some of these current behaviors into our TDC. This guy is super far away, so there's no point in even doing that. But I mean, I guess we can give it really. Oh, well, apparently we lost the lock. There must be a, you know, the the guy in charge of maintaining the uh, <laughs> the periscope clearly went to the same school of that uh, Jester went to. Really? <laughs> I want that guy right there. That's the one I want. Yep, he's already lost that lock. All right, well, let's wait for them to maybe get a little... Let's inch our way a wee bit closer. 
Our, our patrol may be over before we actually know it. Let's set... No, I don't want crew management page. We need, definitely need silent running. I need battle stations. Yes, super annoying. So we've got a fairly large group of ships up ahead of us. I, thank you. <laughs> that is one of the longest freaking uh, audio clips in this level, this game, apparently. That's definitely a Run Silent Run Deep edition. So we knew we had two Mogamis in here. Th this is just... Um, Oh, they are, they are like parked. Okay. So that's not a Mogami, that's a, that's a Takao or a Tago. Curious. Would be nice if these destroyers would just get sunk. All right, well, since they're traveling ridiculously slow, I don't know how we will get into this um, unscathed. They look like they've been damaged and they have their their warning signs are going. Let's let's do some. Um, OK, so Mogami is 14,000 tons. The Tago class is 12,500. Really? Huh. Well, apparently, uh, apparently we don't need to do anything aside from just uh, target the Mogamis. I mean, I guess technically they're considered a heavy cruiser in this game, although they are in their uh, seaplane tender role. So, I mean, I guess good for them. Uh, yeah. Okay. I have no idea. See, these I'm pretty sure are all destroyers on this side. So I don't think... Yes, sir. I mean, we can try crossing over to the other way. God, they're just slowly creeping over here now. See, there's destroyers there. Yes, sir. New course. Yes, sir. All right, let's open some torpedo tubes. That way we can uh, not have to open them when we're... Closer to destroyers, yes, I'll stop. No, too many button clicks. Okay. Is he coming for us? It's hard to really know. And that's the other thing I don't really care for with this game. We'll just go ahead and we'll... We'll hide our... <laughs> we'll hide everything. We'll hide all of the things. In the hopes that we don't actually get detected until we can get our torpedo attack off. Like I said... The Japanese this early in the game really don't have a, an effective sonar system, so they're kind of easy to spoof, but I'm guessing we aren't in an area where... Oh, we got depth. All right, cool. So realistically... So he's headed back. We're kind of in that lion weight, and that makes me nervous. Uh, they're so slow. If the destroyers would just, like, you can't even, you can't even, like, approximate torpedoing the, the, uh, destroyers in this game. Because the destroyers have, like, some ridiculous acceleration rate. And, uh, well. Yeah. It's just not, a it's just not effective to try and torpedo them. Now, these other warships and stuff, they suck. 
at maneuvering. Is there, is there three Mogamis in this? There's, there's some, some heavy mastage going on over here. So let's count them out. That guy is not a Mogami. That's one of the Otagos. That's a Mogami. That's an Otago. Okay, so we do have... We have two... We have a, a Mogami, a Tago, a Tago. Is that what, all that we had for the big masted ships? It looks like it. God, I wish this ship would just sink. Just sink yourself. What are you? You look like a Fubuki. This is like playing Cold Waters, but, uh, you know, without the arcade moments. <laughs> Just so nerve-wracking. They inch closer, though. Later on in the in the game, the the Japanese destroyers actually get like superhuman hearing ability and can hear even the slowest turning of screws and the loudest and quietest of eating of people in the galley. While you're left kind of going, "What the heck?" See, like nothing would please me more than to put a torpedo into that destroyer because he's close enough; I can do it. It's just. Their movements are so erratic right now, it's hard to gauge what they are and aren't doing. I really want that Mogami. That would be a huge, huge, huge success for this little S-boat, and we'd get out of it so fast. These little guys, I don't know that they're worth enough for us to actually, like, tonnage-wise, for us to actually go after them. I guess we can look. Uh, close this. We need to go to the merchants. Is it, is it in the merchants? Maybe it's not. We'll go back to... Oh, that's battleships. No, I don't think it's in here. I'm pretty sure it's in the, the merchants. Yep. Do, 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 do. It's one of the true troop carriers there we go it's not not that one it's this one see so he's 1700 tons so the the troop tra <laughs> this game isn't based on any any realism in that regard where you know strategic assets right what 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 is worth more in the long run the death of a bunch of troops or uh one of these days i'll get those figured out but uh, what's worth more strategically, the death of a bunch of troops yes, or something Nucleus else? Who knows? Yes, All right, I'm getting impatient. Contact. Merchant. Moving away. Bearing. Yeah, that's not a merchant. That's... I, I think he's too far away. He's also turning. Um... Uh, let's keep going... We know it's a uh, Tago. Doubt it's the refitted one. I'm pretty sure that he's going to be too far away for us to actually shoot at. Oh, hello. Objects in the mirror are closer than they appear, apparently. So this dude mm, sure what's that firing solution look like one we are definitely not in range or didn't get the correct range probably because I measured from the wrong place that's better what is that range? 5,000 yards? Too far! 
So if he's 5,000 yards away, that dude's awfully close. All these dudes are awfully close. He's 5,000, but that's my target. That's what I want. So let's go ahead and ID him. We know he's a Mogami. Let's try and get the best... Uh, need a higher DPI mouse, apparently. And we know he is traveling at an exceptionally slow speed. That's not far off. He's 5,400 yards-ish, give or take. Need to refine that a little bit. That's a heck of a lot closer. How about we hide that? <laughs> How about we hide that? Before we get before we get depth charged. <laughs> See, he's, he's not even alerted. He's just kind of chilling right now. I'm okay with this, but he is like danger close. I'm here. He's there. Our prey is still not in range. At the speed at which we estimate that this Mogami is going at, I don't think he's going to be in range very realistically anytime soon. But... Um... That's bad. Yes, sir. Take us down. Yes, sir. New course nine three. Current depth, yes, sir. Zero. Contact, yes, sir. Warship closing. Bearing three four three. Long range. Current so. We kind of had to panic launch, and I'm going to go ahead and assume that neither one of those are going to find their way in at all. Current depth, one, two, I think we're just a little too far out for those to find home. We'll find out soon enough, though. <laughs> this could either be the end of us or the start of something brilliant. Who knows? <laughs> well, they don't look like they're too terrible. You can just barely see them there. Except for one problem, he stopped already. Yeah, they're still they're still pinging like mad, but We are very close to being torpedoed. We're going to go ahead and go up to full flank speed here to try and avoid uh, eating said torpedoes. Passing thermal layer. Oh, that's that's actually a really, really good sign. Yes, sir. Ahead one third. The torpedoes, are they even going to make it to the area? No, it don't, doesn't look like it. Oh, yes, Jesus. Ahead, Hard to board. Ah. 
He's definitely dropping shallow. That's yes, good. Uh-oh. I lied. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Hard to starboard. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Head flight. Yeah. <laughs> Exciting start to this. I'm surprised I didn't do any damage. <laughs> All right, well, uh, so far so good. The tactics are working. And by working, I mean, um, well, we're not dead yet. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, I probably don't have anybody actually set to damage control, do I? Um, main deck crew. Oops, wrong one. How about y'all get to work? Fix me things. Oh, yes, Jesus. Ahead flight. Rudder. Is he actually dropping? Yep. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I think we're hosed. Unless that guy goes real shallow for some reason. How did that not? Um, well, yes, sir. We are playing hard and fast right hard and loose and fast right now. Yeah. Fix it. <laughs> the tenseness. Can you feel it? Yes, sir. It's just like torpedo run after torpedo run after torpedo run. They don't have any way of getting really effectively away aside from dragging them into their own fleet and praying that uh, we can just get them to do stupid things. Yes, sir. New depth. One, nine, nine. Play close to that crush depth, baby. Go midship. Give me that knot of extra speed. The 
The best part about this is... Okay. Oh, that one's far enough away. Yes, sir. I had one third. If we keep this up, eventually, though, we'll be, uh... They will run into each other enough that we can hopefully get away. Hopefully. Contact, merchant, constant distance, bearing, three, three, nine, long range. Yes, sir. Break for silent running. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, once they start dropping or, uh, depth charges, we can actually go... Yep, there he goes. He's starting to accelerate, so we'll go ahead and we'll go to to full flank. His hydrophones are basically masked um, because of his own engine speeds. Yes, sir. New course. One, three, eight. Yes, sir. Yeah. How is he... Oh, there they go. <laughs> yes, sir. Hard to start. Hard to start. Yes, sir. The only way to avoid damage. Oh! That might have been shallow enough, but... <clears throat> As I said, Japanese sonar during the early, Jesus, that's loud. Japanese sonar during the, uh, the this early war phase had a lot of real hard times with um, with detecting through. So there's there's a there's a layer in the ocean where the water density goes up suddenly, and when that happens you get um, the sonar waves, the sound waves from sonar will actually bounce off of that layer before they actually, f you know, hit something like your ship. And so the, finding that thermal layer at this depth was super important to us actually getting away from this. Um, you know, provided I can sneak away here, yes, sir. Runner. Runner. we might end yes, up okay on this. Because <laughs> that destroyer is kind of this guy, you know, he's gonna drop them, but they're gonna be they're gonna be behind us, and he doesn't have the ability to drop them. So at this point, I think they're actually looking for me, which is good. Okay, so he dropped he dropped one, but it was uh, behind a bit. He actually dropped two. Let's see if we can find ourselves in this. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. So we're 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 almost out of this. The key is the key is to change directions just often enough to keep them on their toes. <coughs> Oh, here I was expecting just you know ah uh, we'll we'll find some merchants or something to to engage, but uh, nope, uh, they've decided to throw us in the middle of a task force just straight away right off the bat. So this is the Mogami we tried launching torpedoes at, just effectively zero speed right now. Like I wish I had torpedo tubes loaded, <laughs> I would do my best to. To, like, shoot from the hip periscope depth suddenly, and as soon as we get to, you know, the actual, like, depth at which we can shoot torpedoes out of this thing, do it, but... <laughs> yeah, that doesn't happen when you're stuck at, you know, rigged for silent running, and you're creeping along at one knot, praying that the destroyers don't get a lucky hit on you. So now this guy could be a risk. 
So you basically have a couple of different tactics that you can take. Right now we are Runner. Runner. Yes, doing our best to kind of drag their, their destroyers into their fleet. Because if we can do that, we can uh, we can actually cause all sorts of problems for him. Yes, so he's, he's starting his run. Give me some speed, baby. Contact. Warship. Moving away. Bearing. Three, zero, eight. Long range. We just got to keep working this. So his, his screws now are obscuring our location somewhat. Those, those are shallow. At least I think they were. Well, I don't think that's going to be anywhere near us. Yeah. Very, very, very far behind us. So I think so long as we keep this up, I think we're going to be able to either drag them into their uh, their own fleet, which is a hope. Maybe we can get them to disengage because they get stuck in pathing on the, against their own ships. Or maybe, maybe we can get them to actually sink one of their own ships. That's very rare, but... Where's the next one at? I don't think he's going to be able to rudder over fast enough to actually get here. Yeah, it was kind of an unlucky uh, make that uh, Destroyer kind of made us. That was really rather unfortunate. Usually in times like these, I would quick save, but because I'm not doing a, you know, let's play, we're not going to do that. Or because I am doing a let's play, rather. I'm not going to do that. Yeah, nobody cares about the contact at medium range. <laughs> oh, so he kind of stopped. He's stopped. His buddy hasn't. His buddy is too far ahead. The other one isn't in position to actually engage us. They're definitely looking. So they've, they've lost it. They've lost us at this point. And that thermal barrier, or that, yeah, that, that was definitely a huge save. Huge save for us. Ooh, his friend might be in a... So we, we are effectively right there. He's not going to be in a good position to launch anything. He's stopped. Ugh. Please don't stop there. Damn it. <laughs> oh, that is so unfortunate. I don't think we're gonna... Uh, which one do I want? The answer to that is none. I guess we're just gonna keep going right underneath of him and see if we can hopefully get away from him. Just gonna keep slowly creeping along. Oh, he's he's speeding up. Oh nope. So this is what I'm talking about. You can kind of exploit the AI a little bit with the way that they handle things. I don't know. Are they still pinging? Yep, they're still pinging away. You would think with the active sonar the way it is that they would be able to kind of detect things a little bit, but nope. Oh, he's running full power now. He's not... No splashes in the water. So that's good signs. Be very, very, very quiet. Well, I'm hunting wabbits. <laughs> This is old school stress too, by the way. This is this is one of those, like, oh shite. 
what's going to happen now. This guy's gonna park right on top of us, just watch. The cheeky little bastard. Now if he drops depth charges because our nose is just a Oh shit. Oh, don't drop. Don't drop. He didn't drop. Whew. Maybe they've given up entirely. Ooh, that there. So we are effectively where that guy's at. They are pursuing a slightly different course now. <laughs> Let's save this. Yes, I have a very inappropriate, uh, inappropriate save there. Let's save this. Yes, sir. Secure from silent yes. running and see if we can get a torpedo loaded, and maybe poke a poke a Mogami at point blank range or something. That'd be freaking hilarious. <laughs> yes, sir. Ahead one third. I'll see if we do this, it's going to have to be shooting from the hip. <coughs> Yes, sir. Pass How close stop. are we to even having a torpedo loaded? Oh, man. Get, get, stuff, get stuff repaired. That's good. Electric engines ready. That's good. Tube one ready, sir. <laughs> How close is this guy? Not at all. We were like right here, too. I just don't know that we, like we if we get if we got a shot that was uh, on the three, on the three, back eight, of the Mogami, eight. we might be able to get it to work. Yeah, we do have an Otago directly ahead of us. He's not in a very good position for us to actually drop a torpedo quick, though. We also don't have that second torpedo ready yet. Two torpedoes would would do a Mogami in. Um, just just gotta get there though. I thought they said that they were ready. All right, this is gonna be the most daring raid possible. <laughs> Uh God, what kind of angle is that though? It's a pretty stout angle. Come on, baby. Okay, we have we have two torpedoes. We really do not have a very good target though. The Mogami is uh Yes sir. Back I need to swing my yes, back sir. this way. I think that's right. 
Yep. We do need to be careful, though, with doing this because uh, those bastards. So what we're going to do is, when we're able to... Contact! Warship! Moving away! Bearing! One, four, six. Medium range. When we're in a good position to do so... Contact! Warship! Closing! Bearing! One, four, nine. Medium Man. range. Yes, sir. You know what? Let's, let's do it this way. Yes, let's sir. go. I don't really want to go after the Otago, but I also can't go after the the Mogami this way either. What's the tonnage? Otago was 1,200, right? Or 12,000, rather. <sighs> it would be extremely nice to be able to take that guy out. Yeah, all we're going to get a shot at is that Otago if we come up. Cuz I, I don't want to put I don't want to put two shots into the front of into the sh even three. I don't want to put three into this guy. I just don't know that that's going to accomplish much for us aside from just royally perturb me. Let's, how much can we set up? We know we're gonna be about this. He's gonna be about this. We need to make sure that this is about zero. He's gonna be super freaking close. I just don't know that, like, if we tried to put torpedoes into this Otago straight ahead of us. I just don't know that we're going to accomplish anything. And I'm, I don't know that we can arc a torpedo back this far for the Mogami. I mean, I guess I'm, I'm willing to try it, see what happens. So let's come down a little bit. We got we got a long ways to go to get to the surface to launch this not hope not very stealthy attack. And uh, once we do, these are all great things. But uh, okay, so we're actually going to be probably closer to that to him because I don't. I can't tell which of these contacts is him yet. We're not close enough to the surface. It's going to be... This is this is super sketchy and dangerous. Passing thermal layer. That's not a destroyer. We're good. None of these are destroyers. Otagos don't carry depth charges, but those three fuckers do. God, it would be great to get this kill. So let's do that guy's that. This guy's going to be that. And this guy's going to be that. Oh, it didn't change him. We inch ever so close. Ever so close to probably one of the sketchiest torpedo attacks ever. Here's the surface. Oh, this is going to have to be ridiculously quick.
And then we're... And then as soon as this happens, as soon as we get these torpedoes off, we are, we are bugging it back down to the depths. Did I not open these... Nope, nope, nope. Oh, we are so there. This is going to be a flurry of freaking things, man. I'm telling you. Doesn't matter. Firing tube two. Firing tube one. Firing tube three. Sir. New deck. One, nine, four. Torpedo in the water. Torpedo in the water. Torpedo in the water. Curve, baby, curve. This is so yes, gonna work. Rig for silent running. Don't be way back. Yeah. Thank you, Mogami class, for uh, speeding up to help separate those torpedo impacts. I don't know that you're going to survive them, though. That's a... Yeah, she's done. So now they're... Now they're like... Oh, shit. We just got attacked. <laughs> now the destroyers should be on, like, full alert. Like, oh, Jesus, he's coming. List, baby, list. Sink, sink, sink. Everybody chant it with me. Sink, sink, sink. Current depth, one, two, zero. Well, they got a dead boiler room. That's always a good sign. She's on fire as well. Oh yeah, she's she's listening pretty heavily. I think I think they're gonna definitely lose lose that guy. <laughs> gonna need like a full-fledged pant cleaning after this <laughs> there's just no question about it like this is this is the most intense thing i've done in a long time this is crazy oh she's going she is so going she doesn't she doesn't know it yet but she is going <laughs> Meanwhile, their destroyers are still over there trying to figure out what the heck's going on. Their Mogami is like, uh, Hep? Hep? I need somebody. Hep? Anybody? Hep? <laughs> I, if we get away with this, this is just going to be hol hilarious. Let's do it this way. We don't need full right. Let's just come to 15 degree right so that we can keep some speed up. Yes, sir. 
Oh, yeah. One of the other things I really like about this game is just how quickly um, things can escalate. There's our thermal layer. That's a good sign. Not only how quickly things can es escalate, but um, how realistically ships sink. Like, you, you don't get this in very many video games. You know, we, we, we blew some big old holes in the side of her. That's that's three fairly large torpedo holes, even though they're Mark 10s and they have a slightly smaller warhead. That's three torpedo holes in a ship that has fairly... Oh, they're still torpedoing over there. Nice. It has fairly weak... Um, it has fairly weak uh, torpedo protection. Yeah, she's, she's slowing down. Otago is not helping the situation any either. Gonna have water rushing over the front deck here pretty soon. We might even get a full-on capsize for the sink, and then we will end it here because we're at the hour mark, and uh, this has been one of the more intense... Oh, is it, it's not picking up the game audio for some odd reason. Well, that's uh, interesting. I still don't know that it, it's yeah it's set to default so. Hmm. One, eight, oh, it is picking up in-game audio. Okay. Current, two, eight, nine, we got water lapping at the edges here, boys. Will she go under or will she be repaired? Well, I think the destroyer escorts finally figured that the gig was up. <laughs> that the prize that they were protecting is, um... <laughs> about to go under, I guess. Oh, yeah. Those fires are raging. <coughs> Ooh. Oh no. Yeah, there, there's water over the deck now. She ain't going away. It is it is possible for them to recover from that. I'm just gonna go ahead and solidly press X to doubt right now though. If I wanted to waste another torpedo on her, that would for sure sink her. Ooh. Fire's out. Um. She might be surviving this. I mean, she's got water over the deck in a couple of instances, which is usually a good sign. Usually when they get to, you know bow of the ship is at the water line that's usually a good sign that things are not going so well yes, for sir. them yes, sir. and that they're gonna go One, four, four. Medium range. the torpedoes didn't hit far enough forward if i would have put a little bit more angle on them and i had one hit a little bit further forward she would for sure be done uh, because we would have hit an, am an ammunition magazine which would have caused lots of bad days. But I think we're going to go ahead and we're just, regardless of what happens with this Mogami, I think we're just going to go ahead and uh, snake away. We've done quite a bit here. It would be nice to see her go under, though. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's a destroyer. Yes, sir. Rudder. Rudder. Yes, sir. It still sounds like it's burning. And maybe it's just like slow, slow demise. But uh, it's definitely not going to recover very well from this. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Oh. Hello. Where did you come from? don't exist. I don't exist. I don't exist. I'm like a... Like a leaf on the breeze. Hmm? You might get lucky. I, I feel like it's going down a little bit more evenly now. I don't know. Hmm. Are they dropping torpedoes? Or is he just... Or are they just like... We thought we heard something. Then I took an arrow to the knee. I think that's what's going on here. I think we're going to have to put another one into this bastard. Problem is, is now those destroyers are too fucking close. Because there's one. There's the other two. And the sinking Mogami is on the other side of them. We might get away with this. I just don't know that we're going to get a, a sink on her, though. I think she managed to repair that. I mean, if she wants to... Bearing two, seven, zero, medium range. If I had a rear torpedo tube... Hmm. New course four. Yes, sir. Well, I mean, we'll give it a we'll give it the old college try. I mean, I guess we'll turn around and see what comes of it. Who? Tube one ready, sir. She's stopping because she's out of power. If so, that's a great sign. Oh, yeah. See, we're starting to see a little bit of water over the rear deck now. She might be going under. We might we might just luck out with this. The one thing that real fleet bloat... Real fleet bloat... Real fleet boat did... Was incorporate more realistic sinking times. Bearing two, one, zero, oh. short range. Well, that's a real, real, real sketch way to uh, suddenly be reminded that you're in the midst of an enemy fleet. <laughs> Alright, so that's... We're, we're effectively straight below. That guy's kind of sailing away. Yeah. I don't know if we're... I don't know if we're going to get him. I don't think it's going to happen, boys. 
even though we've got you know water running over the deck and all of that i think uh i think she's just gonna survive just long enough for it for us to not not be effective unfortunately Well, if nothing else, um, Warship, closing, bearing, two, one, zero, medium range. If Contact, nothing else, warship, moving away, bearing, two, we one, can uh, kind of slink away from this whole fleet and uh, kind of reset up and maybe get a successful engagement again. Maybe. Contact, warship, moving away, bearing. Okay, we've sped up time a little bit. Let's go check on our prey. If she's behaving like she's dead in the water, but she's not active, actually dead in the water. Yeah, see, it's just barely turning. I think this is a hot Saharu. Contact. Bearing two, two, five. Medium. Oh shit. Yes, sir. Ahead, fly. Yes, sir. Rudder. Rudder. <laughs> That's death. Maybe we will get exceptionally lucky. Ahead one third. <laughs> this may, may, may be a really, really bad idea. All right, do we have all the tubes ready then? Because if if that's the case, yes, silent. Contact, merchant, moving away, bearing two, three, four, long range. Gosh. Yes, sir. Hard to starboard. Hard to starboard. Yes, sir. I don't think it's going to get any. No. Super shallow. Yes, sir. Ahead one third. How's it doing? Let's go check on it again. Gosh, I wish it would just sink. It's not getting any closer to dead in the water can't tell if the reason why it stopped is because there are ships in front of it or if it is because it is actually dead. It's hard to really know. 
Have any other ship, any other destroyers on an attack path? That guy kind of is. <laughs> yes, sir. Hard to port. Oh, so stressful. This is probably going to be one of the longer videos. I have so much. I'm so focused right now, too. So he's right over top of us. Yes, sir. I can't. He, oh, yep. Here, there he goes. Why is he backing up? I mean, I'm not not complaining. Yes, sir. I had one third. I mean, the problem that I have is that we are right in line with him. It could be nice to creep along just a wee bit quicker. One thing I haven't checked is... Oh, see, we got plenty of all of our resources here. <laughs> oh... Silent Hunter, how you have made me such a fan of your gaming series. Is that the Mogami? No, Mogami's still stationary. It's like all these ships are like circling their their dead brethren. Who's who's more just dead in the water than anything? I mean, again, I don't know that she's actually dead in the water. I think the AI, just the way that the AI... Yes, sir. Ahead, fly. Oh, this is... Sketchy. Patience. Patience. So we're below that thermal layer. We're playing the game here. <laughs> it's just all about not being their favorite to pick on for the moment. Like, you, you hope you survive long enough to... Yes, sir. He's going to be off, but he's making enough noise that we we can get away from him. Yes, sir. Rudder. Rudder. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I had one third. So the nice part about hydrophones is even though they are they are steerable, these early war hydrophones were not very good, and like I said, the, the thermal layer really messes with them. Um, it's hard for 
even the even the early U.S. destroyers in this game, um, when you're playing as the Germans, even they struggle quite a lot at the early parts of the war because the early hydrophone technology, even though hydrophone technology had come a long way, once once you hit these thermal layers, it's really hard to punch through that. You don't have enough energy there to actually punch through it. And even if you did have the energy, you know, the return that you're going to get is going to be inconsistent at best. Just sink. That's all I want you to do, man. Just sink. Okay, it looks like the vast majority of these guys are on the escape path here. This little bastard ain't, though. Hmm. The only upside to his current attack path is is that a quick blast to flank speed and uh, we'll, we'd effectively get away from him. The problem is, is <laughs> I just don't. It would be nice for them to stop and just go away. Ooh, he's making a lot of noise. Let's just go ahead and use that to our advantage. I mean, if he drops or if he drops depth charges, they're going to be behind. But so long as he's got his, you know, his screws between us, I'm just gonna I'm gonna take advantage of that. I mean, I can crawl out of here at five knots, give or take, underwater with his butt pointed away from me. All right, so he's he's out of this. Well, um, I'm going to go ahead and say that that's going to be enough of that for right now because uh, huh, that's pretty stressful. Come back for the next one. Let's see if we finish off this Mogami, shall we? Anyway, I'm Whiskey11. You guys know the drill by now. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.